We've been here at Pure Volume Smoking Speed all day. I'm Bert from The Used. I'm John from Taking Back Sunday. I'm Adam, also from Taking Back Sunday. Welcome to part two. You feel so sad. Matthew Roberts, Matt Rob asks, <laughs> I love you guys. Thanks for being so inspiring. No problem. What music has inspired, has been inspiring to you all lately? Mm. John? Uh, St. Vincent just put out a new record. I've been listening to that a lot. I like it. It's, uh, you haven't heard it yet. It's very inspiring. It's, mm. uh, she's a crazy guitar player. Yeah, she, dude, she shreds. Yeah. yeah. I saw her on, um, Stephen Colbert, I think. Yeah, yeah she was, was so a fantastic. Weeks ago. Yeah, she's Smart. excellent. Knowledge is power yes. in her world. Yeah, the more you know. Yeah. What about you? Um, well, uh, I've been listening to this band called Phosphorescent mm. a whole lot. They have that new record, Muchacho. Check it out, kids. Which is great. So there's that. Cool. Amazing. Okay, Alan Andre. There's a lot of uh, first name, last names. <laughs> Who's the biggest prankster? <laughs> and what's the biggest prank? The best one. Come on. <laughs> um, Bands never get asked that. No. The never prank, once. The prank thing kind of stopped a long time ago, didn't it? Yeah. There's, uh, well, it's not so much a prank. It, it's just more funny and kind of shitty. But um, Eddie snores really bad. So on the bus, our drummer, Mark, his, his bunk's right uh, like across from Eddie's. And whenever Eddie would be snoring loud, Mark would keep a drumstick in his bunk and just hit him with it <laughs> nice. to get him to stop. Or he'd poke him. That that's, happened. That's as close as we come to pranking. Yeah. Dude, these, <laughs> these guys are serious pranksters. Watch out. Serious. They'll come to your house, poke you with a drumstick. <laughs> Have you guys ever... Oh, this is from uh, Logan Shiflett. Have you guys ever considered covering a Led Zeppelin song? I think Adam could do a killer vocal track on All of My Love. Oh, oh wow. That's, that's a, a compliment. That's a very high compliment. Thanks. There's, um, I don't know if we're good enough to cover a Led Zeppelin song. And, you well, don't, You don't want to cover a Led Zeppelin song and uh, screw it up. Yeah. Which we might. Too much pressure. Bonham, John Bonham, John Bonham, Bonham, John Bonham, John Bonham. <laughs> wow, wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, Is Connor. That on parade? I thought that was. Yes. Yeah. Bonham, <laughs> John Bonham. Oh, <laughs> uh, never mind. That's a, that's a story for another day. Connor Gwibertow. Gwibertow? Gwibertow? To, 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 French. Bordeaux. Je comprends le français. A peu. <laughs> Adam, your vocal technique is amazing. Is there anything you've done over the years to help you improve your singing capabilities? Well, well thank you for the compliment. Um, do, no, I just sing a lot because it's what we do. And then I think the more you do something, the more you find how to manipulate it and as far as with your, or like any kind, like even if you're playing guitar, you know. Though I still think I have a long way to go, very long way to go. That was a, that was a great answer. And that was a great question, um, Connor Gibbertow. <laughs> Dylan Moore <coughs> has a pretty great, great question as well. How's the band's writing process changed from T-A-Y-F to Happiness Is? Oh. Uh, well, we argue a lot less while we're writing things now, so that's a big change. Mm -hmm. um, it, there's with us, normally how it works is one person will come in with an idea, be it like a riff or like a drum beat, mm -hmm. and then we'll just kind of take that and build a song around it. And um, so, which is really similar to how we used to do it back when. Yeah, but pretty much, I don't think much has changed in the, in the way we put songs together. No. I think maybe when uh, when there's other people in the band that kind of changed. Yeah. But now we're back, back to the old ways. Back to our old ways. <laughs> back to the old hijinks. Yeah. Up to our old pranks again. You pranks. Poking each other with sticks. 
Scott Dulac has a great question. Having, re having released six albums now, has the idea of making a concept record ever crossed over your spirit, soul, mind? Mm. That's not the way you put it. But. Oh. Oh, yeah. Sorry, um, let me read his um, question from no, no. Has the idea of making a concept record ever crossed your minds? Minds, you're blowing my mind. Uh, yeah, I've never thought to do that. No, Pedro the Lion, that Winners Never Quit. Yeah, that's great. A good one. Is one of the best concept records, I, I think. I mean, he's such a fantastic yeah. artist as well. Check it, kids. Pedro the Lion, if you haven't. I feel like it's hard to make a concept record uh, to do it right. It's very hard to do it right. Yeah. I think it can either come off as very uh, pretentious and, and self-serious, or it can be very, like, forced, where the concept is sort of very loose, and you try to force it and pretend there's more of a story to it than there is. Like, it's hard to do it right. I don't yeah. Know. I don't think we I don't know if we've got it in us. <laughs> I guess it's, it's, it's kind of confusing. What is a concept? Like, we're all writing songs about concepts. Yeah, true. So. Yeah. Hmm. Caleb Girth <coughs> asks, what is, what's we're the perfect. significance of 152? Uh, 152 is, I grew up in North Carolina, a little town. And we used to have to drive up to, like, all the shows would go through Chapel Hill or Raleigh. Yeah, yeah where the colleges are. So we'd have to drive there, uh, and we would meet. It's on Interstate 40, well, 40 and 85. They kind of come together for a stretch there in North Carolina. And it's, and it's an exit we would always meet at. So it's a, just a nod to my friends that uh, no matter how far away we get, they're still, uh, still a, part of, a big part of what we do. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, that, we're back to uh, question one. All right. it's been, oh, we did it. It's been an absolute pl pleasure. I wish there were some other great questions, but there wasn't very good ones. <laughs> I'm kidding. Those are the best questions I've ever asked. Worked. Yeah, that was good. Work. I have a question. Right. Oh, you have a question. Sorry, I thought we were done. I have a personal question for Taking Back Sunday. How'd you guys get so damn cute? Oh, <laughs> you. Stop. I love touring with you guys. It's really awesome. Yeah, man, it's been fun. Yeah. And it's going to continue to be Thanks, fun. Thanks, Pure Volume.